Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to Jay's Gamepad, everybody, and Wagwan. Do you know what? Let's just get into this video. So, I want to tell you a quick little story when it comes to PlayStation accessories. This controller here, yeah, this PS4 controller is a godlike, beautiful controller. I have owned maybe six or seven of these controllers, and only one time I had one issue with this controller. And do you know where it was? It was the battery. I changed the battery because the battery was dying. I think it was like the first one or two controllers that I had and the battery just kept on dying. So I replaced the battery and it was easy to do. This controller is godlike. Then PlayStation 5 comes out and I start buying these controllers. I own five of these controllers. Do you know the one glaring issue that I keep on having with these fucking controllers? Yes, stick drift. Stick fucking drift. This controller is the only one that hasn't been like drifting at all. But the other four has. And these controllers are not fucking cheap. They're like 50, 60 pounds, 50, 60 dollars a pop. And I own five of them. And four of them are stick drift and they're all fucked up. And like, the thing that pisses me off here is that every time I've had stick drift, I've sent it back to Sony, they've either fixed it, allegedly, or they sent me a brand new one. Then within like one to two months, I'm, I'm getting stick drift again. Then when I call Sony and say, listen, I wanna send this controller back again, I'm getting stick drift again, and I give them the product code, they're like, oh, Sorry, but um, yeah, you can't send it back because it's out of warranty. Warranty? I've had this controller for three months. I get stick drift. I send it back to you. You fix it or send me a brand new one. I have it for like a month or two. Then I'm getting stick drift again. And you're telling me it's out of warranty. How does that even make sense? <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this shit up. This is what Sony's doing. Sony's, was it Sony's on some fuckeries. You know what I'm saying? Some nickel and diamond. You know what I'm saying? Card, was it trying to cast Ginjutsu on us gamers? Because they don't want to keep on replacing or fixing these goddamn controllers. Now, the difference between this one and this one is that I don't know what they did with the analog sticks here, whether they use premium components in building it when it came to this compad, or if they use cheaper components when it came to building the sticks, the analog sticks with these controllers, because these stay fucking breaking, stick drifting. Now, the thing is, is that with the first one, when it happened, I tried to open it up, I tried to um, clean it, put it back together, I was still getting it. Then when I found out how much it would cost if I was to send it to go and get fixed, because Sony wasn't like looking to take it, you know what I'm saying? It was cheap. It was mad expensive. And I just thought to myself, I must just buy another controller. Hence why I've got five of these goddamn controllers and hence why four of them have got stick drift. So, do you know what? Like, I just thought to myself, this is some fuckeries, you know what I'm saying? So, a couple of days ago, I'm sitting watching YouTube. Um, basically, I come across this PlayStation trailer of the DualSense Edge controller. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh yeah, like I've seen this, um, was it like this trailer before? I remember when it first came out, I was thinking, oh, like this looks sick. I would love to get this, but I'm not paying £220 or however much it was when it first came out. I was like, listen. Nah, 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 nah. I, like, I can't, I can't part with that. I, mean, I can't justify spending over two hundred pounds on a fucking controller. You know what I'm saying? I love gaming. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not. I mean, but I'm not crazy. Unless I'm some pro gamer that, that, that I mean, that's tapping buttons on Tekken, esports, and shit. I can't justify spending that kind of pee. So I'm sitting there watching it, thinking, oh yeah, that's a nice controller. I wish I could afford it and shit. Two twos, yeah. It gets a bit where where it shows the um, analog sticks and it like slides out. And I'm thinking, wait, hold on a second, they can actually slide out. Was it slide out like that? I'm thinking, Ray, I don't remember that. And this time I've already watched this trailer like mad times when it first came out thinking, oh yeah, this, that was it, this pad looks godlike. I wish I could get it, I wish I could afford it. Oh no, I must've just forgot about it. So I was thinking, oh shit. So I'm sitting there and you know, I'm thinking, boy, like this pad's been out for a minute. So let me do my Googles, let me do my research. So that's what I did, tapping buttons on Google, trying to see if I can find it for cheap, see how much it is these days. Two twos, I'm looking everywhere. Two bills, it's either 199 or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, it's 200 pounds. I'm thinking, boy, I can't spend 200 pounds on a controller. That, like, that's a violation within itself. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, nah, man. 
no, I can't do it, I can't do it. Then, you know, I go to my one of my local um, spots to see Wagwan, CEX Computer Exchange, and they had the controller for £160. Even £160 thinking, boy, £160 on a fucking controller. That's like me buying three dual sets controllers. I don't know if I can do it. But I'm thinking to myself, if I can get this controller, yeah, then I can save myself a lot of money. So I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, yeah, like it's easy to just swap out. It's a better controller, premium. Yeah, it's a sick controller. Then I started thinking to myself, I wonder if I've got any vouchers left. This time, yeah, I've accumulated bare vouchers. So, but like, was it? I just forgot about them because I hadn't spent them. So, so I went into my phone and I was like, let me see like how many vouchers I've got. Cause basically, when you get vouchers, they give you a receipt of the voucher, but they all but they also email them to you. And I saved them like because they're like PDFs, so I saved them into files on, like, on my phone and it's got bare vouchers. So I go in my vouchers, and I mean I do the math, the math starts mathing and it maths up to 145 pounds and i think to myself oh shit i've got 145 pound worth of vouchers that i completely forgot about because i was just like accumulating them now the way i was was it accumulating them was like where i live and i mean because like I, I live in london south east london blue borough if you know you know but anyway where i live is that like there's like a flea market a massive market here in deptford you know what i'm saying like if you was it from london and you're from south east you know what i'm talking about if you don't yeah deptford anyway so uh so we get a flea was it a flea market on wednesdays thursday fridays and saturdays and what is it that these people that they do um was it they do house clearance or whatever and trust me there's quite a few places like quite was it quite a few stores they get like bear games retro games playstation 3 2 4 5 games like nintendo switch games like you can imagine like old playstations old consoles stuff like that obviously you've got to like you know test it and see if it works and stuff but you can pretty much pick like pick up anything for like mad cheap and there's one particular store that I go to where they will sell you a game for three pounds. It doesn't matter what game it is. It could be a Nintendo Switch game that could be worth twenty pound, thirty pound, forty pound, fifty pound, whatever it is. They'll just they'll just sell it for three pound because they just don't know or they just don't care. But sometimes when certain people are not there, they will just sell it to you for a pound because they just think oh a DVD or whatever it is. So. There was like so there, so there was a few times I went there and I literally like bought like 15 games or something like that. I spent 15 pounds and I think like each game was round about worth like 20 pounds, 15 pounds, 25 pounds in vouchers, like part exchange value because you get more for the exchange. If you sell it, you get less, but if you part exchange it, you get more in, in vouchers. And this is how I accumulated 145 pounds worth of vouchers. So I think to myself, 145 pounds worth of vouchers, and this thing. It's only 160 and you know what I thought fuck it let me just pull the trigger and that's what I did today so do you know what BAM 160 pound <laughs> accessory controller uh do you know what normally yeah I wouldn't have done this it's like if it was if I had to spend this out of my own goddamn pocket this would not have been happening because I just can't justify it but for this price I had to pull the trigger and the, and like the fact that I had all these vouchers when I think about it, I've literally spent like 50 pounds, you know what I mean? So that's a steal, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, so like, let me show you what piqued my interest when it came to this control pad. So you know what, this isn't even an unboxing. I'm just, I'm, I'm just showing you how you can save money in getting things that you want to get and, and trying to figure out ways of like not having to spend money when it comes to these fucking dual sense controllers because they are mad expensive and it's not cheap to fix. So as you can see right there, and I'll just show you, you've got the wire, the cable there, and you've got all the paddles and uh, other bits here. Sick, proper sick, but anyway. So it was this, this, and I'm gonna show you the main reason why I went out on the limb and used all my vouchers that I, I currently had to buy this goddamn controller. A few moments later. Okay. So, as you can see, bam. All it is is like a little switch here. As you can see, a, a little switch here. And you just slide it to the side and this pops off. It just pops up like this. Oh shit. Anyway. <laughs> And all it is, is that you literally just pull this up like that and this slides out like that. This 
This is gonna save me mad money, mad peas. Because if I get stick drift, instead of pulling the goddamn controller apart, I can just slide it out. And I went onto the PlayStation Store. These are 20 pound a pop. But, but, if you go on AliExpress, you can get these cheap in comparison, buying one for 20. And they're the same thing. They are the same thing because I know someone's actually got this controller. And when I like, spoke to them today, they said, yeah, like he's been buying it from AliExpress and it's the same shit. So, and it works perfectly fine. So this is the reason why I bought this controller. And this is the reason why I got this because this will save you a lot of blah cleat money. You know what I'm saying? So look, this is a, a like unboxing, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, maybe you can call it that, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? But this is just about like saving money, you know what I'm saying? Getting what you want for a good price, finding them game diddy diddy deals, even if it comes to accessories, because I'm always trying to find the best deals for myself and for my fellow gamers out there. And if you are in the UK or you're in Europe where you've got computer exchange and you have access to secondhand games, or flea market where you can get games for super cheap and you can just part exchange them and get them vouchers. I would just say do that because you can buy yourself a whole, was it like a whole bunch of games, a whole bunch of accessories, a whole bunch of technology, stuff that you want. You know, it won't all be brand new, like they do get brand new stuff sometimes, but most of the time it'd be second hand, but it'd be grade A, practically brand new condition. This, like, this was grade A and yeah, 260 pound. I literally only spent like 50 pound out of my own pocket buying these second hand games and paying the difference. And yeah, it was worth it. You know what I'm saying? It was worth it. So I saved myself a lot of money. I thought I'd do this video to let you know how to go about it and what I did. And yeah, you know what I mean? Thank the gaming gods. But Sony, man, how the fuck are you making these controllers here? And these are more expensive and these are meant to be premium. Like, like, right? Cause it feels premium. This, this feels premium, it feels nice. But, the, but, but these sticks, Forever getting stick drift is fucking annoying. It's super annoying. And if you know, you already know. Let me know in the comment section down below, yeah. How many PlayStation 5 controllers have you had? And how many of them have you had stick drift with? Because with me, it's been pretty much all of them apart from this goddamn one. And obviously not including this, you know what I'm saying? And if this does, well, I can switch it out, baby. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative. If it was, Please like, subscribe and hit the bell notification if you like this content or any of my content. You can also hit me up on the social, Twitter, Instagram and Twitch, Jade came back across the board. You ain't got to type, tap, press, anything else but that. And also, if you want to find me or hit me up on PlayStation, my gaming name is Mr. Ghost Protocol. So I guess I will see you and speak to you real soon.